Hi, welcome to Eurex News, the place where we'll talk about the European auto industry. Today I have a very, very nice lady, a girl, a woman from Italy, Rebecca Volpetti. Hello. Hello, Rebecca, how are you doing? Good, and you? I'm fine, I'm fine. So, Rebecca, please introduce yourself. I'm Rebecca Volpetti. I have 25 years old and I'm in the industry since seven years. Why Rebecca Volpetti? An Italian guy, the one who introduced me to Rocco Sifredi, yeah. um, suggested me a few options of name and I pick Rebecca Volpetti. I think it sounds pretty well together. Mm -hmm. And um, right now I don't know, but like seven years ago, Rebecca Volpetti, this combination of name didn't exist. Right. So if you Google me, I'm supposed to be the only one, but maybe now someone else is it's called unique. also. <laughs> it's a unique name, it's yours. <laughs> Rebecca Volpetti, yeah. Okay, so uh, what happened since? How do you find yourself in the industry? Very good. I just am um, very happy that I'm still here and I hope I can continue working uh, much more than this. Um, yes, I found very nice, lovely people. Um, I like the job. Um, I like my lifestyle, the traveling and everything. Uh, where do you live now? You live in... Uh, in Prague. In Prague, okay. And yeah. you travel a lot, you go, you come to Budapest, you go yeah. around Europe and everything? Yes, yes. What is your, your daily life like? They, let's say that you have to go to shoot. Do you have some kind of a preparation for that? Or how do you, how do you plan your day? For the working? Yes, you mean? yes. Um, well, like normal, just I wake up, I get ready, I go to work. If I have to shoot anal, of course, there is a preparation before right. that. Uh, I'm cleaning and getting myself ready at home and then I go to the work. Do you have to be careful what you eat the day before or because um, everybody's different? No, no. Uh, maybe I don't have dinner, mm -hmm. but I eat everything like normally okay. breakfast and lunch and um, yeah, I never had any problem. Once you started this business, did you discover anything new that you, you haven't experienced before in your life? Uh, yes, um, I would say piecing. <laughs> I okay. did my piecing in this uh, job, um, DP. Okay. I did uh, here. Which stands for double penetration. Uh, double penetration, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. BDSM. Okay. Uh, I remember I had my first uh, BDSM experience with a master okay. from this job, okay. and it was great experience. Um, orgy, maybe. Okay. I uh, no wait. Orgy is like five people. Yeah, something so like that. So otherwise it's a foursome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so foursome I already did, but maybe five people I did it here. Ah, and a uh, black guy. Okay. This I did in porn. <laughs> I didn't try black guy before porn. Okay, so everything else before before doing uh, porn, you already experienced it in your private life? Uh, anal. <laughs> okay, so that's the important. Other one. Okay. I forgot about. But yeah, before I in the private life, before starting porn, I already experienced something with uh, Luna. You yeah. know my friend. Yeah. So I would say girl, girl already mm -hmm. done it, and with like four some, three some, I did it already, and. Um, yeah, and so the anal, the black, the DP, and the pissing, I would say, and some orgy mm -hmm. is important okay. first. And then I continued also in the private life. <laughs> Once oh, okay. I discover, I just like it and, you know. And uh, talking about private life, <clears throat> um, are you single now? You're in a relationship? I'm single. You're single, okay. I guess the last couple of years you had some relationships, right? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, were they guys from the industry or outside of the industry? From the industry. Why? Because um, life um, brought me to meet mm -hmm. the people around me are from the industry. Mm -hmm. So I'm not searching for a relationship or for love. If this is coming to me and I like the person I meet, right. uh, I can be in a relationship. But it's just um, um, a casualty. Mm -hmm. If I would meet someone out of the industry that I like and I find myself good with, I can be also with someone out of the industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that's good. But is it also because for someone who is from the industry, it's easier to accept what you're doing? I don't know. You don't know. Um, yes, normally it's supposed to be like this, but I don't think when you are in a relationship, things are changing. Okay. So either if they are from the industry, doesn't mean for them it's easier to understand and accept what you are doing. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got yeah. it. I got it. What do you do when you don't work? Do you have some 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 hobbies or something? Uh, yes, I like painting, uh, okay. reading books, um, traveling, cooking. Um, Yes, <laughs> and, um, and ah yes, and doing some sport like uh, tennis or ping pong. I like to go to the swimming pool to take the sun, and yeah. We were working on the same set two days ago, I think. Yes. Yes, and uh, and I was amazed when you told me like you you like to read uh, science books, science and and all this kind of a. Yeah. Deep, heavy material. <laughs> I like different subjects, but mm -hmm. um, I prefer a lot of psychology because okay. uh, with psychology you learn how to understand better yourself and the people around you. And uh, it's an interesting, uh, curious topic for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but of course, I like also um, like Greek mythology or or. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or some business and finance or um, yeah okay so so you're looking it's for more yeah <laughs> I understand it okay where do you see yourself like five, in five years time like you know I still don't know <laughs> um, in five years I don't know. I think I just want to put some money on the side mm -hmm. and try to do something else. But right now, I cannot tell. No, <laughs> because 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 uh, I I know your performance. I I know that you're very energetic. Yeah. You're always there. You you know with the big smile and everything. You know it's it's you know it's good to see people like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Um, you know when you're a little kid mm -hmm. and at school they ask you what you want to do when you're gonna be like older yeah. and i never knew what to answer to this question and look now i am here doing porn so in five years anything can happen i can get interested by something else or discover some new passion and i will follow whatever it will be but today you feel good in your skin and yes, you like what you today doing. yes yeah that's good. That's good. Is it easier to get along with boys or with girls on a set? Um, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, I think boys, but I have to say that I also can get a good connection with girls when I shoot a girl girl, for example. And I don't know why uh, Russian girls uh, and Colombians. I have a very good feeling and okay. attraction with them. Oh, also Hungarians, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And when you're shooting like a scene when there's one guy and multiple girls, mm -hmm. okay, uh, is there a kind of a challenge between girls? Like I, I don't feel that. Okay. No, I I like the teamwork. I like when all of us girls we are collaborating together, mm -hmm. 
and um, no i don't feel the challenge maybe okay. from them there is but from me no so i don't feel it so. okay let's imagine that you're in a scene with one guy and, and 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 another girl so it's a threesome and you see that the girl is like kind of a lazy and you know <laughs> do you start to you try to push her or, or or give her some kind of a input to 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 make things better or you just say okay well i will give my 100% and i will try to close the scene um i try to give some ideas and to make a better scene always but if this is not possible then i say okay i give, <laughs> give i up. try to do all what i can by myself and if she doesn't want to cooperate doesn't want to, uh, what can i do okay when you think back when you started this this business what is the thing like you say today like oh this thing i used to do it like this in the past but now i do it like this today because for any kind of a reason I think um, before when I started I was more crazy like okay. more hungry and no hungry hungry and uh, wanted to try so many different things and now I find myself more calm okay. <laughs> more cool and um, like before I was like very crazy for hardcore sex uh -huh. like only hardcore like chuck me spit on me slap me pull my hair and now like i want like a um, little bit less <laughs> of that i still like it but i'm more passionate mm -hmm. i give more myself i want more connection with the guy more um more uh, looking in the eyes more kissing more more soft uh -huh. more intense um, do you think it comes with the age? Like when you're young, you want to try everything. You're rebellious. You, you, you want to do extreme stuff. And with time, you start to calm down and just... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> honestly. But now for me, like the, the best is the mix. When uh -huh. you have a bit of hardcore and the, also the soft, intense part. And it's good when the guy can adapt himself mm -hmm. and feel the woman, because if he feels the woman, he knows when he has to be more hardcore and more soft. Uh -huh. But I, So you give some kind of an input to the guy? No, the guy has to feel it. Uh -huh. <laughs> For me, this okay. is like a good sex. Like okay. the guy has to feel okay. and know how to do. Um, but in the, in the beginning of the scene, when you start to perform with a guy let's say it's a, mm. a boy-girl scene mm -hmm. uh, you do you agree on things like what you like what you don't like what the guy likes what he doesn't like well normally I like almost everything I'm not that so you don't difficult. have this problem like and normally not I'm not that difficult uh, but of course if there is anything that has to be told I always say uh -huh. No, because I know that some guys don't like some things. Yes, I know that some girls yeah, yeah. don't like something. They some tell things. me yeah. if they don't want something. And you know, I don't pull my hair it. because I have extensions. Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. That. The, some guys too. They if they don't want anything, uh, if they don't like something, I mean, they they will tell me, sure. and it's the same sure. in both ways. Is there anything that you would like to change? on you or in you the way you react to things the re the way you do things the way maybe do you look is there something that you would like to change i think we can always improve ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, be a better person and i think um we always need to change okay. in a better way because if we don't change we stay the same and if we stay the same we don't progress so um, I always try to be better. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. No, no, because no, I, I remember when you started and, 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 and the scene we shot two days ago, the action, the, the, the fire, the, you know, mm -hmm. it was there just like on the first day. It's mm -hmm. just the way you were managing the things. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good. It's good. It's good to see you, like, with a big smile and everything. I, I, <laughs> I like you. it. I like it. I like it. Okay, Rebecca, thank you very much. 
for coming because I know that you have to go because you're packing and going back to Thank to you Prague. for uh, welcoming me in your podcast. It was a Whenever pleasure you want. to Whenever see you, you want. and speak to you again. See you soon then. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>